I grew up on stupid ideas. But when they come to fruition, it's something you're always going to remember. Dave hit me up and said that he and Jeff were in town. We did a little biking, but then I figured it'd be a really fun little adventure to find some snow and just see if we can get some cool shots. I literally felt like I was just dressed for the beach, but had all my snowboard gear with me. Just a random yellow rail. Run it looks a little bony, but I think it'll go. Yeah. My seasons are usually pretty jam-packed with competing. stacked with obligations, and there's no better feeling than to just have your own day to plan out whatever you want to do. It's just so fulfilling. I think capturing content, it's become part of the job description now. If you shot like straight down the pipe, you get us in opposite corners. At the end of the day, we're out here adventuring. Part of the beauty of being a filmmaker and photographer is being able to capture that, but also kind of be involved in the sports at the same time. All right, we're watching Jeff. Do a little trick for us. Sometimes I look back on old shots I have. It's unforgettable. Oh my God. And I'm like, that was a good day. Tahoe will always have a soft spot in my heart just because I grew up here. I've snowboarded here, and I also grew up mountain biking here when I was younger. This is kind of the first time I've ever met Jeff. So I thought it would be a good time to try and learn some new tricks and just kind of hang out in the mountains. It's super cool to hear that she grew up riding a bit, but to actually see her in action, I was blown away. There's some jumps, there's some berms, a ton of opportunity to get some really unique angles. When I actually got close behind Jeff, because he's so freaking fast, I noticed he's jumping over tree stumps and hitting like every rock that's in the trail. And I typically go around all of those because I just see like walls. It's been wicked following her down and actually seeing her rip corners and it gets loose conditions. It's not easy terrain here. Whoa! <laughs> Y'all good? I saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you badass. <laughs> Woo! This corner has almost got me every time, so. In snowboarding, I always know I'm gonna land on snow and I'm gonna be okay but as far as mountain biking, the terrain can get pretty gnarly. <laughs> That's getting rowdy up in there for sure. <laughs> Mentally, it takes a lot to step up to those different features that are you know, maybe a little bit bigger or their shape's a little different. Jeff helped me out and gave me some advice and I started to get really comfortable and this is so new to me. I love that challenge. I have all the confidence in the world. If you want to follow me into this, you'll clear this no problem. Um, Honestly, it's not like she needed any pointers at all. She's been absolutely ripping. If you want to watch me hit this one, it's just to get uh, the feel of it. Oh my God, that was a Big old jump. That was insane. I know I can do whatever it is I'm going to attempt. I'm always scared of the result. Definitely got the nervous jitters. My heart races so fast. All good? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> 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 so that was way I gotta be so scared. <laughs> nice Thanks. Heck yeah. and as soon as I like leave the lip of the feature or jump or whatever, it's all muscle memory, and that's where snowboarding plays into it. So Tahoe's rad because there's just so many mountains that you can get into and access. When someone in the middle of summer asks you to go find a snow patch to go ski. That sounds right up my alley. I was pretty skeptical on whether or not we'd find snow. We yeah. might score like a little beach day on the mountain. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna get down to t-shirts for sure. <laughs>
and a setting off shot. Oh yeah. There it is. There actually is snow up here. Yeah. Yeah. We might find a pretty big patch. This is yeah. pretty low elevation yeah. here. When we started our hike, we found a few snow patches. They, they thought it was snow, but it's actually sand and snow. <laughs> we had some hope that there were going to be some bigger patches. Well, I mean... Hey, there's a good patch of snow. I feel like, if anything, we could get a sick shot off the top of the ridge. Yeah, we do have a snow. Let's see if we can find a little more snow, but... We'll get something. You're skiing in June. Like, to expect anything is a complete joke. That might be it. I kind of think this might work. Oh. You think that goes all the way? This looks sick. It's a cool view of the road. I think this might be a good spot to bust out the boots and the skis. See how far she goes. <laughs> Midway through the hike, we found one that we thought was pretty good, but we ended up trying it out and the snow was just absolutely awful. I can see why people stop skiing in maybe May. May it might be a uh, little too one late. Of those people. <laughs> <laughs> Feel solid. All right, we're bored. Oh, better than expected. <laughs> All right, well, it's about 12 o'clock, which means the light is probably the, as bad as it's gonna get. We're gonna go grab some lunch and then come back and check out maybe the next zone. I think there might be some more snow. Yeah. Going snow hunting with your friends in June was such a treat, honestly, because you never know if we're actually gonna find some. And we tried again and kept pushing through, and eventually we found this huge, untouched snow patch that ran almost down the entire mountain. The whole view of the lake in the background and being able to enjoy being outside with everyone, it was a really cool experience. I was towing Haley in with one of the poles. And honestly, I was cracking up. <laughs> we made some magic happen. Yeah, I'll follow you guys out. Yeah. Then as soon as you turn that corner, you'd see the snow patch kept going and winding between the trees. Such a treat to be able to strap in and actually take some long turns and kind of get to enjoy the ride. Definitely got a little hairy down at the bottom, but we were able to make it all the way from the top of that ridge all the way down to the road. There it is. Yeah, yeah. All right. As cliche as it sounds, when people say um, it's about the, the journey getting there, not really the destination, is it's totally true. We got to ride some pretty incredible trails. It was really cool to be able to get behind Jeff and see how he hits these kinds of things like I've never seen anyone do before. I think capturing moments all along the way and getting something that kind of surprised you and maybe surprised the athletes, definitely a feeling of, you know, a really good payoff. The mountains really bring community and that's, that's the best thing that it offers. When you're out with your buddies just filming each other, it's really fun to like share that with people and there's usually always something to laugh about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, I love to see it. See the shot? Heck yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow, that was a good spray. Oh, yeah. Yes. Perfect timing. Very good. <laughs> I'm getting that was a good shot. Sick.